Joining us now is Kansas Republican Senator and member of the Senate Appropriations Committee and the Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee, Jerry Moran. Senator, welcome. Mike, uh, good morning. Good to be with you. You're part of this bipartisan group of 21 senators working to cut an infrastructure package. How close are you to a final deal? Well, I think that the deal can come together pretty quickly. I think uh, the Democrat members of this effort are checking in with the, with the Biden administration, awaiting the return of the president. Uh, from Europe uh, last week and now from uh, the weekend in Delaware. Uh, my hope is that uh, we can have a, a decision from the White House as to whether there's anything here that they will support. You know, we started, Republicans started negotiating with President Biden. He rejected our latest proposal. This uh, group has been negotiating with other members of the Senate as compared to the administration. But I assume what's happening now is that the, the Democrat members that we've been negotiating with want to touch base with the White House and make sure that they can be supportive, the White House can be supportive of the direction we're going and really, in a sense, give President Biden the chance to live up to his campaign promises, uh, his inaugural address about being a bipartisan president, wanting to work with Republicans to accomplish, uh, you know, goals that are important for the country. Mm -hmm. And infrastructure is certainly one of those. I'm interested in this deal because I'm not interested in spending six trillion dollars. Uh, it's something that's not affordable. It's way beyond the base of what most of us in America would think is infrastructure. It's uh, more aligned with Democrat and liberal kind of progressive uh, ideas. Could we do something basic that we all could agree upon? Too many times in the United States Senate, in my experience, we don't do anything because uh, we can't do everything. Right. Uh, my view is infrastructure is something we can do something. Uh, and this is a pretty darn good opportunity for us, for us to demonstrate to the American people we can get along well enough to advance the well-being of America, its economy, its workers uh, through an infrastructure bill. You made reference to progressives like Bernie Sanders wanting to spend six trillion dollars on a whole range of things, including infrastructure. Uh, so it sounds like President Biden may have some trouble on his progressive left flank. Your thoughts on that? Well, I hope that he has uh, the following within the middle of the Democrat caucus in the United States Senate. Uh, we certainly know that uh, Senator uh, Manchin has indicated he will not vote for a uh, partisan infrastructure plan. It has to be bipartisan. Mm -hmm. And he's certainly been an integral part of this effort in that I'm involved in and in trying to find that. I also would say that if we had success in, in, in demonstrating that we can do something bipartisan in infrastructure, maybe it will spread to a few other things. But important to me is that we could reduce the chances of major spending. I mean, I'd be delighted if we were spending the amount of money that this bipartisan group is agreeing on instead of something about six times that. Right. It's not affordable and it's way too expensive. But also just the process in the Senate, uh, if we can demonstrate that we can cooperate, I want to do the things that are necessary to keep the Senate Democrats from changing the filibuster rule from operating uh, under reconciliation. 60 votes of the United States Senate to pass legislation is important. It's historic. And any effort to undermine that and change that, I think, changes the nature of the Senate, but more importantly, is damaging to the country. So demonstrating that we can get this accomplished right. without changing the rules of the Senate, without using reconciliation, would be a really good thing for the well-being of the nation. One question Senator Sanders asked today, and perhaps others, is how do you all plan to pay for your bipartisan package? You know, I, I saw that in the press that, uh, that he was uncertain about the pay fors that uh, this bipartisan group uh, is uh, zeroing in on. Uh, struck me as odd that Bernie Sanders is maybe worrying about how to pay for something. That's just an odd thing for him to highlight. Perhaps the, his answer is always to raise taxes on the wealthiest people. But our efforts is to try to do things that will pay for this. We will do things that pay for this infrastructure plan that doesn't damage the economy, doesn't reduce the amount of uh, available uh, opportunities for Americans to work, to pursue the American dream, mm -hmm. keep people employed. Okay. Uh, and it hasn't, doesn't have anything to do with raising taxes. It has with public-private investment, utilizing money we've already uh, appropriated for other purposes now for infrastructure, okay. giving greater flexibilities to the state for money that they can spend on infrastructure. Uh, and so we're we're trying to find a, a, a sweet spot that allows us to do good things for the country by investing in infrastructure, but d not to do things that okay. are damaging to the economy with taxes. Senator Jerry Moran of the great state of Kansas. Je uh, Senator, thanks so much for your time. Happy Father's Day, Mike. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, sir.